Hello everyone, my name is Shaban Ibrahim. I am working as a functional consultant in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Today uh, we will start new session for account people modules. Let us take an overview about account people modules. Here this navigation, you will go to modules, then we will select account people. Then here you will make expand all. So let us start functions by functions and see how this function work. First, when the first I will uh, talking about uh, working workspace. So in the workspace, there is two functions: vendor invoice entry and vendor payment. First, vendor invoice entry. This is a function show all uh, entries uh, vendor invoice entries. Second, vendor payment. This is, this function also it used to uh, vendor payments. So here in the workspace, there is two uh, functions. Vendor invoice entry and vendor payment. Here in the vendors, you can see all vendors, vendors on hold, and vendors bust due. Vendors, vendors who are diverse, vendor exception group, and vendor group, and vendor price tolerance group. First, here all vendors. This is you can when you press all vendors, you will see a vendors list. So here you will see a vendors list in the company. Then here if you go to vendor past due, this is mean all vendors which passed due. Until now you didn't pay his invoice, due invoice. Then if you go to vendor groups, here this is vendor groups which you can, there is uh, uh, data connection here. You can here uh, assign all vendor to different vendors groups here vendor price tolerance groups mean if you have uh, if you make uh, matching three way matching or two way matching in this way if there is a difference in the price from the uh, purchase order and the invoice so you can here make tolerance for some vendors this tolerance this is mean the system will accept to post invoice if this if you did uh, if you don't exceed this Tolerance. Then here purchase order. You will see here all purchase order and the purchase order assigned to me. All purchase order. This is it will it will it will it will show you all the purchase order list in this functions. So here you can see all uh, purchase order. Here, purchase order number, vendor account, invoice account, vendor name, purchase type, approval status received. So we will study all these functions step by step, all these columns step by step. Purchase order signed to me. This is mean if there is workflow in the purchase order, you can by click this option, you will see all the purchase order which assigned to me for approval. Purchase order received, not invoice. This is mean all. Purchase order uh, status it will be received but still not invoice here purchase agreement purchase agreement here the agreement between between the company and the vendor which includes the price the discount which includes the uh, discount to also so this is mean you can make agreement between you and between the company and vendors here open prepayment this is mean if there is a prepayment if you pay uh, if you make prepayment to vendor so here there is two, two status one it is closed prepayment mean you is uh, means that the, the vendor already send you the invoice but if there is it, if it if the vendor not send you the invoice this is it will be open prepayment <coughs> here you will see some functions under invoices First, pending vendor invoice. Pending vendor invoice here mean there is uh, some invoice still pending. Uh, the accountant or the person he uh, he is responsible for the invoice not posted this invoice. Pending vendor invoice assigned to me. This is mean if there is a workflow in the invoice and I need to see 
<coughs> all the invoice which pending uh, to my side so I come from here and open this option invoice journal here this is the journal to record the invoice between the company and the vendor global invoice journal mean here if I am working in holding company and there is more uh, and, the, and I am responsible for invoice journal so here I can create uh, inv invoice journal for any company for different companies for sister companies from this functions open vendor invoice here mean sub there is if there, if there is uh, uh, some invoice but this invoice not pay it so it's called open vendor invoice or not settled maybe it is paid but the accountant not settled this invoice so also it will show as open vendor invoice vendor invoice due to today this is mean <coughs> this is mean this is invoices are due today i this is mean must pay this invoice today vendor invoice busted you it is clear here mean this invoice it is busted you and still I don't pay it this invoice <coughs> payment Ver vendor payment journal this is journal to record all pay all payment for vendor here vendor payment journal assigned to me this is mean all payment vendor uh, assigned to me by workflow so from this functions and I can click and approve all the pending uh, vendor <coughs> or pending payment journal broker and reality here that you I can create a broker contract I can create a broker claims and reality agreement and reality claims so we will see all the, these details in next sessions here if there is if you need to make some reports you will go to inquiry and reports here is a product receipt it will show you all the uh, list of product which received and who is received and uh, which time he received vendor aging report it will show you all the aging uh, vendor aging this is mean if there is a past due invoice so here it will you it will show you this this report will show you which invoice 60 days which invoice 60 days 90 days as per setup vendor transaction report this report illustrate all the transaction what is the vendor invoice and what is the vendor payment in one report account statement this is a uh, uh, this is a report to show you the uh, account statement for vendors with it will show you how many how many amount or how amount uh, what is the amount is debit and what is the credit amount is debit is is uh, uh, payment which I pay to vendor and the credit it will show it will show you the vendor invoices top 100 in vendors this mean it will show you uh, top 100 vendors which I deal with these vendors vendor balance list here you can see what is the balance for the vendor so uh, it is easy to to, sh to show you me all balance and I can uh, pay it that amount immediately vendor balance list with the credit limit suppose I make credit limit so this is reported to show you the credit limit for vendor vendor based data it will show you all the data for the vendor like uh, uh, vendor phone list like uh, emails like address so like uh, contact so in this report you can see all the data which you enter in the vendor master vendor phone list here it will show you all the list for uh, phones for the vendors here ledger posting for purchase orders this is mean it will show, show the integration between the PO and the general ledger uh, module chart of account here there is a quote report invoice history and the matching details and approval journal history and the matching details match matching details there is three types number one it is none 
number two two we matching and number three three we matching now there is no matching between the quantity and exist in the purchase order and receipt and invoice two we matching you would see the uh, uh, you, you can track the quantity in the uh, purchase order and the receipt three we matching here you can track the uh, quantity and, pri and price from in the purchase order uh, in the purchase order and receipt and uh, invoice so this is for tracking and validation in which journal here you can see all the invoice journal the details <coughs> See here, I will go to the payment. Let us go to setup. Here, there is some parameter. Here is the workflow. This workflow for the uh, three workflows. You can focus in three workflows in this uh, workflow. It is invoice journal and uh, uh, vendor invoices and payment journal. So you can create workflow for all this journal. Aging period definition here, you can custom uh, period definition like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and 120. This is up up to your company policy. Then here, vendor posting profile. This is a uh, button to make connect between the uh, vendors or vendors group and uh, the chart of account or general ledger. Here, this is the invoice matching policy here, price tolerance. So uh, what I said before, the price tolerance here mean if, the, if, if there is a difference or discrepancies between the invoice and the uh, purchase order in the price. So here you can add the tolerance. So in this way, the system will accept the invoice if there is if this uh, tolerance uh, acceptable. Matching policy here, there is uh, what I told. There is you can make set up for three types of matching policy, none and uh, and uh, two way matching and three way matching. So it is easy to control it. Charge tolerance also if there is a charge, so you can accept uh, some uh, increment or increase in the charge during the post invoice. So also the same way item price, item price tolerance group. This is mean for some items you can uh, accept uh, discrepancies or increase increment increase in the price. Charge you could here if you need to if you if you your company if you uh, as your as your company policy you can add here charge you could charge you could mean here if <coughs> you added some cost for the items like loading like transportation so you can add here charge code and also you can uh, create groups for the charge code and the item charge code and here automatic charge code it is mean not manual and system will take care to add and distribute the charge for the items payments setup here method of payment this is method of payment mean it will show the how the how you can pay to the vendor if it is check transfer or uh, if, if, uh, or electronic this is method of payment payment details it will illustrate it, it will you it will illustrate that which day you will pay this uh, amount payment schedule here means suppose you need to schedule the payment monthly or to every two months so you can create setup for the payment schedule Term of payment here mean this is it, it will show you the term of payment if it is 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So you can set up term of payment then assign this term of payment to the vendor. Here cash discount. Suppose uh, you need to pay the, the vendor amount before due date. So in this way the vendor he will give you cash discount so you can make set up for this cash discount. So this is the overview of the vendors. So uh, I hope this uh, session you get uh, or uh, it is useful for all the people. Thank you.